the Mormon Book Reviews, where an evangelical encounters the Restoration. So all of my books so far have been five out of five stars, and I had t promised all of you that I will eventually get to some of the stinkers in my collection. Uh, first of all, I want to thank everyone for the great support that I've been receiving, and I do have some interviews coming up. I actually taped one this weekend, and it went very well. So that's the latest on the channel. Now let's get to the book review. Here it is. The God Makers by David Hunt and Ed Decker. This is a infamous book. I was a little child when they ran the God Makers uh, movie on our local Chicago Christian television station. And I went to a Christian school and the God Makers was the talk of the playground. I remember seeing the infamous God Makers cartoon and uh, being uh, it being implanted firmly in my brain and gave me some very negative views of Mormonism. However, that didn't stop me from being, continued to be interested in your movement and the restoration. So let me explain this book to you. This is quite simply a propaganda piece. Um, this is not a Christian book, okay? This is not a Christ-like book. This is a book where you have an individual, individuals who had very um, end justifies the means mentality they, they were going to do whatever they could to make Mormonism and the LDS church in particular to look bad, make it look of the devil. This book came out during the satanic panic uh, period in the 80s where everybody was looking for devil everywhere, and they tried to tie it into that. Um, there's so much exaggeration in here, so many fa falsehoods and half-truths. It just saddens me that I'm part of a church movement that actually produced this piece of garbage, Okay. So that's where I'm coming from now. It's no more Mr. Nice Guy in all these book reviews, I'm telling you right now. I'm going to be speak truth to power sometimes as well. And I'm probably going to be harder on us evangelicals than I, I am on you guys. And I don't intend to be hard on you guys because I love you. So either way, um, this book is really just uh, not something to be even uh, read. I wouldn't recommend it unless you want to have it in your collection uh, as a collector just to say, I have it. Um, it's just, it's written very sensationalistically. Uh, the movie was very sensationalistic, the way they did everything. But as I have been very critical of this book, I do want to kind of shift gears and talk a little bit about Ed Decker, who was the primary author of this book. Now, I did see him on uh, Mormon Stories podcast, and he was interviewed, and his feet was put to the fire. And uh, I have to say that after watching the interview of Ed Decker, I did have a different impression of the man. Um, I thought basically he was a devil incarnate on some level. I just felt like he was just kind of a, a, a charlatan, a man who just liked to be very sensationalistic and make a lot of money on the books and movies that he was hawking. But after watching the interview, I have to say my heart did soften a little bit. And I do believe that he is a sincere man who really is trying, in his mind, trying to reach the Mormon people. Uh, so kind of like give him a little bit of a free pass there uh, on that. So my heart has softened a bit about him. Now the co-author, David Hunt, that's another story. This is a man who really had a very nasty personality about him. And the great irony was he actually started off as a very sincere uh, man, uh, talked about how he uh, was, came from a very conservative Christian background and then got involved in the charismatic renewal movement in the 70s and started speaking in tongues and he was thrown out of his church he writes this book called Confessions of a Heretic, where he pleads for more tolerance and love and understanding in the church of people that are different. But the last few decades of his ministry, he just became basically a hardcore fundamentalist, judged, judged everybody, judged Christ, all other Christians, saying that they're all the devil and they were going to hell. So there's not a whole lot of good that I can say about David Hunt. So now it's time for the official Mormon Book Reviews review. The Godmakers. <clears throat> if one wants to crawl into the darkest corners of the evangelical movement, this book would be a good place to start. This is simply a piece of propaganda garbage that makes Chick Trax seem enlightened. If one wants to read an evangelical book that is completely devoid of the Spirit of Christ, this is the one. The LDS Church and the Restoration in general is presented in such a distorted fashion that it makes my heart grieve. The review, this review is a call for repentance. Evangelicals, we must renounce this book and ask for forgiveness for bearing false witness. I personally collect any and all books that are just even tangentially related to the topic. For collectors like me, it is worth having in your collection. I do not advocate book burning. 
for any reason. But if your power goes out during a winter storm and you need some kindling to start a fire to keep warm, I would be okay if you started with this publication. I hereby award this book zero out of five stars. Like and subscribe, ring the bell, and uh, comment. I'd love to hear your comments. You guys have a great day.